So the question me and Mac worked on is from 2018 AP Calculus BC for response question. And because it's the second question in the BC test, it's a calculator allowed question, which makes the calculation relatively simpler. I highlighted the important part of the question that is provided. So we need to remember that this is a piecewise function that determines the density of plankton cells in millions of cells per cubic meter. And when the depth is between 0 and 30, the um, density is modeled by pH. And when the depth is bigger than 30 meters, the density is modeled by aphage. For the first part of the questions, we'll just find f prime of 25. So we can just easily plug it into a calculator. And then I think the most important part of this question is the interpretation that we need to write about what is the meaning of f prime and how it applies here for the density. And this is the well-written solution for part A. So we can, by plugging in the calculator of the dx of the equation provided when h equals to 25, we can get the value of p prime 25 d dx at 25. And we can get the value is negative 1.179 milliamps per meter cube per meter. So we leave it here as milliamps per meter cube per meter instead of milliamps per meter to the fourth is because we are determining the rate of change of density and the density is represented by milliamps per meter cube, which can be easier for us to interpret when we are trying to find the change of density that is connected with the change of depths that have a unit of meters. The proper interpretation of this part is the rate of change of the density of plankton cells is negative 1.179 million per cubic meters per meter at a depth of 25 meters. So let's move to part B. Part B is asking for the number of plankton cells that are in the column of water between h equals to 0 and h equals to 30 meters. Because as I mentioned that I highlighted with green, we can know that the constant area of the horizontal cross section is 3 square meters, so we can draw a diagram for it. I, I draw the diagram in red pen, so you can see basically it could be a column with a constant square, 3 square meters base and a 30 meters height. Therefore, we just need to calculate the integral from 0 to 30 times 3 and of the value of pH due to it's a piecewise function that pH works for the density between 0 and 30. Because um, the number of an element in an explicit area is always calculated by volumes times density. So in this equation, which is the answer for b, we can find this pattern that the h means the height of this column, 3 means the base of the column. Therefore, 3 times the integral from 0 to 30, dh, is basically the um, volume of this column. And because it's a 3D version that we need to calculate a number of, we need to put density inside this integral. So we just plug in density here, and by putting it into calculator, we can easily get the, the number of the plankton cells at from 0 to 30 is 1,675.415 milliamps. Um, part C looks kind of scary because it gives us um, k, and we don't know the explicit value of k. But interestingly, we can, from the first line, we can know that there's a function u, that uh is always bigger than fh. And the value of uh, that from 30 to infinity, which is an improper integral, is 105. Because of this, as I wrote in the green pen, we can know that the maximum value of fh is smaller than uh or equals to uh, which is also 105. 
Therefore, no matter how big k is, we can know that the maximum value from thirty to infinity of the density of the cell is one hundred o five. The calculation of the number of cells. Um, the reasoning is similar to the one I stated in B that includes the volume and the density, but it can be be split into two parts because it's a piecewise function. First part is from zero to thirty, that is based on the calculation and the equation of pH, and the second part is from zero to infinity, that is based on the calculation of UH. And as I mentioned before, because the maximum and value of FH. Um, the the value of f h is always smaller than u h. Therefore, the maximum value of three times integral zero to infinity f h is smaller than the value of u h, which is three hundred and fifteen. So, therefore, the maximum value of the number of plankton cells is one thousand nine hundred ninety point four one five, which is smaller than two thousand. And we can get the conclusion that the value of this integral expression, which means the number of the plankton cells of the entire column, is then less than two thousand milliams. And for the last part of this question, that is not very connected to the plankton, the number of plankton that we talked about before. It's about velocity, and Because x t y t is the position of the boat, so provided by the equation that I highlighted in magenta, we can know that x prime t and y prime t means velocity, x direction and y direction. Therefore, we can easily get that the average velocity, um, the scatter value, is equals to this, and because Um, the integral of velocity means the total distance, and the time is provided by the question that we need to calculate from zero to one. We can just write the equation in this way: that the integral from zero to one of the square root of x prime t square plus y prime t square dt, and we can easily calculate that the value of it is. Eight hundred eighty-three point four six one meters by calculator.